I have been waiting for this feature since last year and I'm so hyped that we finally have it and uh, I hope you cannot hear my cat crying in the background but uh, I'm gonna show you some really cool uses you can already do with the component slots so over here I have a section as a component and remember that the, in the new editor role you will be able to use any components so your clients will be able to add these uh, pre-built section layouts and inside this uh, two column section we can have uh, two columns and we have uh, two slots over here and we can place stuff in them and so you can only place components inside of them at least for now so if I try to put like a text block it won't let me um, but I have uh, if I write content you will see I created multiple content types that we can use and for example if I put a heading it's not just a heading it's actually uh, if I can open it I cannot open it let me just place one here it is uh, a div with a custom element uh, the div is a title wrapper it has some margin bottom uh, and then the custom element is so that we can uh, select whatever heading level we want so this is an h2 but there's no other heading on the page so i want an h1 then we can also place a paragraph and in this paragraph i have added a, a custom element as well as a wrapper for this just so that i can put a max width because most of the time you have different max width sizes for different paragraphs and I just wanted to not have to create a new combo class for each of them uh, and then you can also give this a class so we can make this like larger with this uh, and then we can also put a CTA which has a div uh, the CTA wrapper in uh, saddle it helps you have multiple uh, buttons in the same uh, div and it also adds some top margin. So now we have a nice simple uh, layout on the left and then on the right we can add an image. So I'm gonna add this image. I'm gonna also give it a combo class uh, one by one. And uh, in this, uh, this CTA component also has a slot so we could, uh, if we want, we can add a secondary button in here and we can control all the properties of these uh, components. You may have noticed that I also have a class property over here which adds a class to the slot itself. So here I have like a flex center vertical class and it's added directly to the slots. So you can add slots to... Uh, you, are, you can add classes to slots, not slots to classes. So this slot over here, I just went here, class, and I added a class to it. And this gives you a lot of control of how you want your different uh, slots to look like. Another use of this, instead of having two fixed uh, columns like we have here, where I just want my editor to only be able to have two columns, we have a three column section over here. And I also have a card component, which uh, I have to place inside. There we go. And I could use this as, as the generic com card component for all the different card types we have. So I always have the same border and uh, rounding and background color. And we just want to change what's inside. And we can again reuse the content that we had earlier. Like we can put an uh, H2. I'm going to give it a class of H6 to make it smaller. I'm going to get a paragraph. And I'm gonna also get a CTA as well. I uh, just have a similar thing. Maybe this would be an H5. Sure. And now because the whole grid volumes class is the slot, we can have as many cards as we want and they're gonna keep stacking. And we don't need to have a specific amount of slots here. That's a quick overview of what you can do with the component slots. I hope this helped some of the people who were asking me why I'm so hyped about this understand how powerful this feature is and I'm excited to see what you come up with and if you want to support the channel make sure to leave a like and subscribe.